doing um, the classic unjustified triumphalism right now. But let me tell you what's really going on. The church, to be frank with you, has totally ignored you guys for a long time. They haven't taken you serious because the doctrine is so horrendous that a lot of people don't want to take it serious. And so you guys have gotten a free pass. You've been running around, bad mouth on the church, dissing people, debating construction workers with their lunch pails as if you won some victory, or some Pentecostal lady who doesn't know what she's talking about, or some homeless guy who's half inebriated, and being all amped up because you defeat them or smash them. Now things are changing. Slowly but surely, the apologists are coming in, and you guys aren't going to be able to have a free pass doctrinally anymore. And what I've seen is some of you get really amped about it. And that's why I get threats against my life all the time by One Westers because they don't really want to debate. They just want to see my life end. And I think you guys actually are the ones who are in the desperation stage because you realize that Christians are no longer giving your doctrine a free pass. It, things are changing, and it's going to get worse and worse because now you've got the failed 2,000-year prophecy, which you were there. Now the other side of things, the moderates, they've got the failed 2019 prophecy. You guys have got already two failed prophecies under your belt. So the real <laughs> issue is I think you guys are in the desperation stages, and I just hope you're theologically ready. Threatening people's not – I'm not saying you threaten, but the threats that we get – by other one westers it's not going to fix it what we've got to do is have a discussion about the text that's going to be where the real answers come in about the text you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm looking forward to i hope we can have more discussions about the text and less of this just wait till you're in chains and wait now i'm not saying you said that but you got to understand i get that stuff that's all the time i get that stuff all the time so see what i'm saying here's what it looks like let me just like it's like a friendly piece of advice when you're debating a christian and they get you in the scriptures if you resort to just wait till you're in chains and slavery, it makes it look it makes it look like you're desperate because instead of de debating the issue, all of a sudden you're just threatening people. Basically, do you see what I'm saying? It's a bad look. I'm trying to help you guys in a certain sense with your image because look at what happened, man. We've got almost 12, 12 bodies. The body count of one West, yeah, a dozen oh. bodies for one West, and you're a small religion. So to have a body count of 12 that we know about is a big deal. Yeah, they were all one West campers. Everybody was murdered.